So moving on now with a little bit more of an interesting example, um, we have a little bit uh, more of a complex web page here that I'm creating. And the thing that I'm trying to get across here are the concepts of elements and attributes in HTML. So what an element is, is whenever you have uh, a begin tag and an end tag, and you've completed uh, from the begin to the end, and you have other stuff inside the tag, you've completed an HTML element. So this is the head element, this is the body element, uh, this whole thing actually, everything that we see here is the HTML element. So uh, sometimes when we're talking about metadata like this we can say node, so the HTML node or the HTML element. So in this case, um, you know, we have kind of like a, a parent-child relationship and as well as a sibling relationship. So the HTML is the parent of the whole document and it has two children. Uh, it has the head and it has the body. So those two elements are the children of the HTML element. And similarly, uh, those elements have children of their own. So the header has uh, a title child and the body has uh, an H1, a P, and an A. And we're going to talk about what all of those things mean in a couple of seconds here. So just getting the idea for kind of nesting, what we call nesting these elements, um, putting elements inside of other elements. And this kind of describes the, the geography or you know, the topography of the, the whole HTML document. So, you know, you're going to see these two, head and body, those are pretty much the two primary elements in every HTML document. Um, the head is like all the header information, uh, not necessarily stuff that's, you know, on the screen or showing up on the screen, but kind of stuff about the document. As you can see, uh, kind of the most simple one is, oh, what's the title of the website? And you can see over here on the left, you know, it says Donnie's website up here in the tab. So, um, it's not really in the document body, but you know the browser says, oh well the title is Donnie's website, so I guess that's what I'm gonna name, you know, this particular tab. And then the body, um, you know, that's kind of the stuff that's the main portion of the document. So, you know, obviously the document body is, is the main stuff in the document. Um, so what these three things inside of the body mean are uh, H1 is a header uh, and in HTML, there's kind of these six header tags that are reserved, H1 through H6, uh, H1 being the biggest or the most important, and H6 being the smallest or the least important. So that's why the, the browser, you know, I didn't really provide any information other than saying, oh, this is an H1 element. But the browser went ahead and made it real big because, you know, it said, oh, this is important, therefore I'm going to make it big. Um, so the, the paragraph is like kind of the simplest element in HTML, it's just, just some text. And, you know, I can separate, just to show you kind of why even bother with a paragraph, I could say this is another paragraph, put a second paragraph in there. And notice it'll kind of separate them with a line break. It puts them in two um, separate little areas on the screen. So it is important information. This got, you know, treated in a certain way by the browser. Um, but, you know, kind of all these are really the same type of elements. They they just say begin, they have a begin tag and an end tag and nothing really else interesting. So with this example I went ahead and included uh, an A, which is actually a link, but the A stands for anchor. It's kind of the same thing. The reason I wanted to include this one here is because it has an attribute. So notice this is the end of, I'm sorry, that is the closing portion of the begin A tag. Here we have end A, here we have begin A, but I didn't close off the beginning tag until right there. The reason is because I stuck this attribute in there. An attribute is just a name value pair. Uh, the name of this attribute is href and the, at, uh, the value of this attribute is you know the location of google.com. So href is just you know like a reference, an HTTP reference to figure out how to link up with another document somewhere out there on the internet. And um, so basically you, you've said, yeah, I'm creating an anchor, I'm creating a link here, but I need more information than that. I need, you know, the value of this attribute. If you don't give it the value of the href, it's not going to know where to go when you click on it. So obviously if I click on my link, hopefully it should take me to where my href said, and it did. So if I close my notepad here, you can see, I'm going to stretch this out. I'm going to right click here and view the page source. And it's exactly, you know, the browser is showing me this is the HTML that I use in order to create this page. And it's exactly what we saw in the notepad. 
Uh, the colors that it's showing here are make it a little bit more readable. In Google Chrome, notice the the value of the href attribute is kind of blue, and it even has a little mouse over effect. So this kind of makes it nice and easy to read. Um, that's kind of you know the idea of elements and attributes, and you know as we get a little more complicated, it's just important to be able to to easily read this stuff. So you know as you're crafting your own HTML, make sure you lay it out kind of nice. You put you know spaces, carriage returns between important elements so that you can see you know easily where one stops, and the other one starts. So this is the end of head. This is the beginning of body, and the children usually you know indent them a little bit so just so you can easily see that they're you know part of the parent element. And uh, going forward, really, we're just going to start listing a whole bunch of these different uh, elements that exist in HTML and how to use them. So now that we understand kind of what an element is and what an attribute is, we're just going to start kind of shotgunning through all the different uh, prepackaged elements that HTML provides you and what attributes you have to give them in order to make them work.